Yeah. Okay, so this is the uh, stone I collected. Yep, very flammable. Today I wanted to make some acetone from uh, this uh, calcium acetate I have. I have quite a lot, so that's why I uh, decided to do this uh, project. Here, as you can see, um, it's still a whole of these bottles full, and um, there's even more in the making. Well, maybe I can show you real quick. And here I'm uh, making more. As you can see. It's already kind of crystallizing and shit. So, um, I didn't want to uh, to use my uh, glassware for this, for the dry distillation. Uh, because it will um, fucking wreck it, probably. So, I've made this... Um, this uh, dry distilling thing. Just a paint can with some really bad solvents and this pipe. So um, yeah, that's uh, the idea. Uh, hopefully, it doesn't leak or just doesn't work for some goddamn reason. Okay, so I will just be putting um, the calcium estate in here, and then we just do this. And what should happen is it uh, should um, make um, acetone vapors that will condense and then um, we will be left with uh, calcium carbonate in uh, the can and on the end is our acetone, hopefully. Okay, so um, let's just begin. I Adding the um, the calcium acetate, um, it's uh, it's very impure. It's, it, it's very pinkish and because of iron probably, and there's also probably a lot of magnesium in it because this this came from an actual uh, rock I found. Don't breathe in the dust. Okay, so this is the setup. There's the um, calcium acetate. Uh, we'll heat it up and it will condense in here. Um, I hope uh, this thing gets hot enough. If not, I will switch to uh, a Bunsen burner um, and that uh, hopefully will get hot enough. So, yeah, let's get started. I uh, switched over to propane because it um, wasn't really getting hot enough. I do smell. Uh, Acetone, it, it smells very weird and sweet, but um, it, it just wasn't condensing any. So uh, hopefully it's uh, gonna condense some now. So yeah, it's just uh, a waiting game. Okay, very very good news. It's working. Maybe it's condensing the acetone. Oh, just another one. Hopefully I could catch it on camera. Yeah, sweet, literally, because it smells kind of sweet. Okay, nice. Okay, um, we have uh, a little bit of the uh, acetone. Um, it's going very, very slowly. That's probably because this isn't really a, it's quite a tiny flame and a really big container. So I'm probably gonna uh, make a part two where I optimize this system a little bit more. So 
I will just uh, finish until uh, this runs out of gas and uh, show you the product and some other cool stuff you can do with it. And um, there's probably uh, coming up part two somewhere in the future. So, yeah. Okay, so this is the uh, stone I collected. Um, it's not very much, but it's uh, kind of a proof of concept. Uh, it isn't that much because uh, I ran, ran out of gas, so that's unfortunate, but uh, it's proof that it works. Um, in the next episode, I will uh, scale it up and make some more. Okay, so t let's test if it's flammable. If this damn thing will work. Yep, very flammable. That's definitely acetone. Looks very pretty. Nice blue flames. Um. Okay. So let's test if it can uh, dissolve some um, styrofoam. Yep, it's dissolving it, if you can see. And now I light it on fire because I'm a fire maniac. Oops. Oh frick, there's styrofoam still in there. That's probably not 